What's up guys? Welcome back to another edition of Skate Park Lessons with me, JB, here at the Sunnyvale Skate Park. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to do frontside and backside ollies in transition. Check it out. The skill level for these tricks is intermediate. The risk level for these tricks is medium due to the hang up factor. Grabless aerials were made popular in the late 1970s by Alan Gelfand at Skateboard USA, which was one of the first skate parks built in Hollywood, Florida. Alan's nickname was Ollie, which was used to label the new trick and then brought to street by flat ground legend Rodney Mullen. Rodney would watch Alan do these at the skate park and use that same technique as inspiration. Rodney continued to mimic those foot motions he saw Alan do until he learned Ollie's on flat ground which then opened up the world of flip tricks as we now know today. For this lesson, it helps if you can skate comfortably. Ollie, pump, drop in, carve front side, carve back side, front side kick turn, back side kick turn, and knee slide. Here are the things you guys should do. Get your ollies comfortable and consistent on flat ground, then start to ollie off of a bank ramp to flat. Next, begin to carve into popping them on a bank ramp. Loosen your trucks so you can carve easy. This will also help your trucks conform to the transitions while skating. Follow your rainbow carve in and out of your ollies. Learn the timing of your pump with your speed so that you can have a better feeling of when to pop. Land into your pump to keep a smooth landing and maintain speed. Learn how to kick your skateboard back and behind you for your ollies and transitions so you can stay safe. If you don't know how to do any of these, please refer back to my other videos online to catch up. Here are the things you guys shouldn't do. Don't try to ollie over the coping immediately. Start small to build confidence and gain consistency. Don't ollie too early or you will land higher up the ramp than where you pop from. Your pop and landing location should stay level while learning. Don't rush. Pump back and forth to feel the timing of the ramp so you can dial in your pop spot according to your speed. I always recommend learning to ollie up and out of a bank ramp or pyramid first, then try it out of a mellow quarter pipe, a pocket, or a small roll-in. First, we're gonna start with how to ollie off of a bank ramp. Here are the simple steps for this trick. Here is the foot setup position for your ollie. From riding position, ride towards the ramp that you want to ollie off of with enough speed to ollie onto the top of the ramp. Now set your feet in ollie position in the flat bottom, bend down and set your balance just before you ride up the ramp. Stay tucked down with power in your legs so that you are ready to pop as you ride up the ramp. Now time your ollie so you pop just as your front wheels are about to go over the edge of the top of the ramp. Pop into your ollie hard and begin to leap forward closer to your front foot as you come off of the ramp. Pull your knees up high underneath your body as you center your head in between your feet. Look down close to your front foot so that you can see your feet and the landing ground. Hold your knees up until you feel yourself start to come down. Extend your legs down to keep the board to your feet and begin to bend your knees as your wheels touch down. Bend down further to absorb the impact and stabilize your landing. Here's how to bail. Always go with momentum and commit to your pop. If you miss your pop, stay forward, spin your chest forward, and run it out. If you pop and don't like it or need to kick out, use your front foot to kick your skateboard back and behind your body to avoid landing back on it. A pro tip for this trick, just like running and jumping without a skateboard, if you want to jump or ollie higher, you need to bend down more and jump or pop harder and go faster if you want to get extra distance. The first thing I'm going to teach you about frontside and backside ollies is understanding the line and timing on transitions. This will help you understand when to pop and when to land. I'll use tape for this as a visual guide. You can copy me and use tape or chalk as a guide for yourself. Visualize a smaller rainbow carve that you're consistent with on a three to five foot quarter pipe. Now cut off the top of the rainbow in a straight line parallel to the coping and you'll be left with two lines on the ramp. The end of those lines, which is closest to the middle of the rainbow, is where you pop and where you land. Your goal is to follow and carve up one line, ollie the gap in between the lines, and land into your pump down the other line. Once that becomes easy both ways, 
front side and back side, make a taller, wider rainbow and repeat these steps. The taller the rainbow above the coping, the faster you will have to go to match the lines up and down to make the distance of the gap and clear the coping. As this becomes easier, start to experiment with tighter rainbows for sharper, more up and down ollies. With more practice and control, your rainbow can become a line for straight up and down ollies. Here are the simple steps for frontside ollies on quarter pipes. Here's the foot setup position for your frontside ollie. So take a picture or a screenshot so you can see this when you get to the park. Start small and stay low on a wide quarter pipe with slow to medium speed and work your way up as you get better. I recommend learning on a four foot quarter pipe. Visualize your rainbow carve with the top cut off and start as low on the transition as you need to complete your ollie over the missing section and land into your downline into a pump out. Roll towards the quarter pipe with medium speed so that your entry line rides into your rainbow carve. Set your feet into ollie position and bend down just before you ride up the quarter pipe. As you ride up the quarter pipe, be sure to stay bent down and make your pump up timing flow into your pop so that they combine into one smooth motion. Pop up and across, keeping your rainbow shape so your body is on top of your skateboard. As you pop, begin to pull your knees up and into your chest so you can keep your board to your feet. Stay tucked through the highest point of your rainbow arch in the air. Just as you begin to come down, start to lean into your lead shoulder to help change direction of your skateboard. Look down and watch the coping by your feet and slowly extend your legs down to maintain your board control. Stay leaned into your lead shoulder as you touch your wheels down and land with your knees bent so you can pump out. Here are the simple steps for doing backside ollies on a quarter pipe. Here's the foot setup position for your backside ollies. I recommend learning these on a four foot quarter pipe. Again, start small, stay low on a wide quarter pipe with slow to medium speed and work your rainbow up higher as you get better. I want you to visualize your rainbow carve wider than you did with frontside ollies. With the top cut off of your rainbow, start as low on the transition as you need to complete your ollie over the missing section and land on your downline into your pump out. Roll towards the quarter pipe with medium speed so that your entry line rides into your rainbow carve. Keep your front foot in riding position so your heel and toes are equally hanging off of the skateboard. Now set your back foot into your ollie position so that your heel is up and you're on the ball of your foot. As you ride up the quarter pipe, stay bent down. And again, the most important part, make your pump up timing flow into your pop so they become combined into one smooth motion. Pop in and across, keeping your wide rainbow shape. Lean your head in towards the bottom of the ramp so that you can look down at your front foot or in between your legs to see your foot position. Just as you pop, begin to pull your knees up and into your chest so that you can keep your skateboard to your feet firmly. Stay leaned in and tucked through the highest point of your rainbow arch in the air. Just as you begin to come down, start to lean into your lead shoulder to change direction of your skateboard. Look down and watch the coping next to your front foot or through your legs and slowly extend your legs down to maintain board control. Lean into your lead shoulder as you touch your wheels down and land with your knees bent so you can pump out. Remember to land into your pump so you have a nice smooth transition as you ride away. For additional help with ollies and transitions, start doing these on a mellow bank ramp first, then work your way up to a steeper bank ramp, which will feel more like an ollie on a quarter pipe. Remember to follow your rainbow carve in and out of your ollie and be sure to practice landing into your pump out. This goes for front side and back side ollies. Here's how to bail. Commit to your pop and use your front foot to kick your board back and behind your body so you can go with momentum and follow your rainbow path into the ramp and run out or into a knee slide. There is a special wrap technique that I use with my front foot that I want to share with you so you can stay safe. I point my toes down on my front foot to hook my board and wrap it so it stays stuck to my foot and I can kick it back and behind my body. Here are my pro tips for ollies and transitions. The radius of the quarter pipe or shape and height of the transition plays a huge role in your ability to ollie. Typically, if the transition is quick, tight, and steep, then your ollies become a lot more challenging. 
If the transition is slow, low, and mellow, then you won't feel as much help from the ramp to launch you up and off of the coping, but the timing will feel easier to skate. As you perfect your ollies and transitions, the line where you cut the top off of your rainbow carve becomes the coping. So you pop or bonk at the coping for maximum height according to your speed and land just under the coping as you come down and into your pump. The harder that you pump up and into your pop and the more that you can pull your knees up underneath of your body while you're in the air will give you more height and distance. The sharper your rainbow carve up the transition, the more you will have to lean in to keep your board to your feet. As you tighten your rainbow, your ollies will start to go more up and down, but straight up and down ollies are tricky and require extra foot control and board feel. I recommend slip-on style shoes for that extra board feel while learning these. Last but not least, wearing knee pads while learning ollies in big transitions will help to save your feet and knees over time. Here are some simple guidelines to help you with ollies on hips. If the hip is taller than five feet, I usually find it easier to bonk off of the coping to float over the hip. If less than five feet, pop an ollie. For doing airs over 90 degree hips, I usually find it best to bonk off of the coping and aim further back for your landing. For hips that are more obtuse than 90 degrees, I recommend popping your ollie the same as you would on a quarter pipe. It helps to pop up and over to give yourself additional time to kick out or spot your landing. Here are some related trick ideas to inspire you for more combinations. For beginner, try ollieing off a bank and over obstacles. Also, I want you to try ollie to fakies under coping on transition. For intermediate, start small and work your way up to ollie over a channel. Try frontside ollie to fakie and backside ollie to fakie. For advanced, practice your ollies over the coping and start to smack your tail on the way in. The skate term for this lesson is hang up. This is when you catch your front or back truck on the top of the coping and it grabs the inside of your truck hanger and you slam to the bottom of the ramp. It's one of the worst ways to fall in transition and leaves you with little chance of bailing out. Please share this video with your friends or anyone who would benefit from it and they'll appreciate you for thinking of them. Leave me your comments, including any questions you may have, ideas or lessons for future videos, and your thoughts or feedback about this video so I can continue to do my best to help you reach your goals. I hope you guys learned this and got a better understanding of skateboarding. Please help support me. Click that like and subscribe button to encourage me to make more videos for you. Thanks for watching and be sure to meet me back here for more your favorite skate park lessons.